All my life, I have been silent. I have been a piece of seaweed nibbled off of and swayed. I don't feel like a vertebrate. I don't feel human. I've traded my appeal for textbooks and rules. Not that I was much of a troublemaker before, of course. But when I was young, I used to be a roaring lion with a tail of flame lashing behind overpowering muscle. Big for my age, tall for my age, smart for my age. But this lion was fed up with her qualities being contorted into novelties. She was tired of her qualities being for her age and not for her. Her age did not define her as it does now. But what few years she had to her name made her temper foul, and she lashed out in the playpen far too often. Banged insults, tearing jackets, clawed hard, not on her own sleeve, but crawling up everyone else's, jumping down everyone's throats so she could steal their passion and devour it. She was a regular fireball. But she was also a grenade with thin skin, and love clamping her handle down. She was a ticking time bomb, and when her wires crossed, she went supernova. But the guilt of the debris she left collapsed her remains. She built a steel cage for herself and threw the key out of reach. And she tried to dissect herself and wonder at whose sleeve, sleeve her heart had climbed up this time. Where had it gone? And as she studied, the lost, she lost the footnotes to that feigned ferocity. She gnawed at her claws and doled both to molehills on the crest of the mountain, screaming to be noticed. And on the days her heart returned to her, she recognized it less and less. And so she wept and sent it to another for safekeeping. But in a dreamy summer, something changed. The floor was a little grabbier than usual, so she stood up, and we walked to the door, and I grabbed the key. Now we lean on each other, her and I, amputees missing opposite legs. Her fur is sleekness and shine, I'm balding. Her eyes are life and fire, she's spirit. My eyes are molehills and ash, I'm a ghost. Her chest puffs strong and proud, a geyser. Mine caves, a mine shaft with no supports, and don't you tell me that's fair. But when I haunt my home's lively halls and my linens brush mirrors, when I pull my hair out of elastic bands, when I bare braced teeth at my reflection, I feel more like a lion than memory tells me she ever was. This mane that skis down my shoulders to the valleys of my back is far from bald. These eyes I thought dead are ribbed in gold, and they've got beating war drums buried behind their pupils, and these clumsy claws are done being burial mounts. If people thought I roared loudly before, they'd better get earplugs. This heart is emblazoned in stained glass that I've never seen, but it's back to pounding over the altar. And I've never been more excited to meet someone than who I will come to be. Did I hurt your feelings? Well, sorry, hun. Mutual respect sends his regrets, but honesty is my new middle name. I am done being a ghost. I want to be a person again. Yeah.